Free your spirit, free your mind. Let your soul hear it, your light will shine. Pastor A.D. Nichols, the ambassador of wisdom, is coming to you in just about 40 seconds. We're hoping that you will open up the mail that's about to be delivered. One of the hardest working women in gospel. That's Pastor A.V. Nichols, an outreach pastor, reaching out through Facebook, reaching out through every means necessary to turn you on to Jesus. So let's get ready. Take some minutes out of your day so the words of wisdom will make a better way. And now, Pastor Ava E. Nichols. Hello, welcome back. My name is Ava Nichols. Thank you so much for tuning in. We've been reading a psalm a day. Today we're going to read Psalm 96, amen, and then we're going to elaborate on the scriptures as much time as we have allowed. Um, I do recommend you read the entire book of Psalms. Um, David wrote majority of the Psalms. David was a uh, shepherd in the beginning, but then God called him. And then he was uh, anointed of God to become king. Amen. And then you, what you need to do is go and read uh, 1 Samuel 16 forward about David's life. Uh, majority of Psalms was written by David, like I said, and then Moses wrote some of it. Uh, David, he was a warrior. He was also a musician. Uh, he did fight under Saul, and then Saul flipped the script on him. Uh, David also was the son of Jesse. He was a tribe of Judah. Amen. And um, he, like I said, he was a shepherd. And then he taught himself, how, well, he had to learn how to fight off uh, large animals uh, to, uh, to defend the, uh, the sheep. Amen. Because they were defenseless. So he did take, he did learn that skill. Amen. He developed the, the fight, his fighting skills. And also he did teach himself how to play the flute and the harp. David was a man of God's own heart. Uh, David, um, he, uh, he did, uh, you know the story about Goliath? He did fight Goliath and he won, amen. He did cut his head off and he defeat, defeated him. And then the, the children of Israel, they did start praising him. Saul got jealous and then Je uh, Saul uh, forced David to become an outlaw. So that's what happened. That's a, a little overview of David, but you do need to read about David's life. David was an awesome man. He did get into sin later on with Bathsheba, but he did repent. Amen. And um, God, the way David, I mean, I'm sorry, Saul become king is because the, the, the children of the people wanted a, a king. God wanted to be their king, but then the people, they wanted a king like the other countries. So therefore, God called Saul, um, that Saul was really their chastisement because Saul was, um, he was uh, not a good, he was not a good person. So, but God, go ahead, he went ahead and he uh, made Saul king over Israel because they wanted a, a king like everybody else. And so that was their chastisement. So that's how that happened. So then as Saul, when Saul's uh, son died, not Jonathan, but the other son died, then David, he become king over entire Israel. So today we're going to read uh, chapter 96 and then elaborate on them, on elaborate on the scriptures. And it, it reads, Oh, sing to the, to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day because his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all the people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all the gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are, his, are in his sanctuary. Give to the Lord, all you kindreds of the people. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Give to the Lord the glory due to his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigns. The world also shall be established, that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar 
and the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. Amen. Thank God for the blessed reading of the word of God. Amen. And verse 1 reads, O oh, sing to the Lord, a new song sing to the Lord all the earth. And this is something that we need to do. And I'm always encouraging people to sing a new song to the Lord. Amen. It doesn't matter if you can sing or you, you, you can't sing. Just let the praises continually be in your mouth. And he, what he's saying is that the whole earth should sing a new song to the Lord. All the earth. Amen. And this is something that we should do. And also, when you're singing and praising God, that gets your mind off your problems. Amen. When you just start entering into praises and worshiping the Lord. Amen. The earth will be a better place to live in if everyone would sing like the Word of God says to the Lord, all the earth. Amen. Verse 2, sing to the Lord, bless his name, show forth his salvation from day to day. So it's saying just sing to the Lord, praise his name every day and tell how he saves us. Amen. Tell your testimony on how the Lord saved you. Amen. We should let people know about Jesus every day. It doesn't have to be, you know, going to church on Sunday is not all what we should be doing. Amen. You should be uh, letting your light shine before all men, and then it will draw all men and women not, not into the Spirit of the Lord. Let the people know about Jesus, how he saved you. Amen. Verse 3, declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all the people. And then that's what he said. He said, tell the nations of his glory. Tell everybody about the miracles that he does. Amen. This is something that we need to do. We need to let our light shine. Amen. We don't have to be preaching all the time, but if you let your light and your lifestyle shine, the Spirit of the Lord in you, you know, walking upright every day, people will know that there is a difference in you. Amen. Verse 4, for the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. And he's talking about the little gods. Amen. The little G. And see, the Lord is great. He's, he's great. And that's why we should praise him and let people know about him. Amen. Uh, living separate uh, from the way the world is living. Sometimes you don't have to say a word. Even in the store, you should be, uh, the, they should feel the Spirit of the Lord on you. When you're spending time with God, uh, people can feel and they won't curse around you because they know there is something. They respect God's presence. Amen. And this is why we should uh, let the nation know about His glory and tell people about His miracles because the Lord is great. He's great. He's pulled you out of darkness and brought you into the light. And he should be praised, amen, at all times. You know, the praises shall continually be in your mouth. And he should be honored um, more than all the little G gods, amen, amen. Verse 5, for all the gods of the nations are idols, for, but the Lord made the heavens. So he's saying that all the gods of the nations are only idols. You know, there's so many idols in this world, amen. But the Lord made the heavens. No little G God has made the heavens. Amen. So God made the heavens. He made everything. Amen. He made the good and the evil as well. Verse 6. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. The Lord is majestic. Amen. His glory he, and majesty. He has power. Amen. And his beauty is in his temple. And you are, and he, and you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's why that we should not touch any unclean thing to go into our temple. You know, uh, we shouldn't touch uh, cigarettes, drugs. We should be living that example before God. Before uh, our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. So that's where the Holy Ghost is housed. And you should take care of that body. Take care of the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Verse seven. Give to the Lord, O ye kindreds of the people, give to the glory, give to the Lord glory and strength. And it says that the Lord, uh, praise the Lord. He said, praise the Lord, all the nations of the earth, praise the Lord because of his glory and his, and his power. Give to the Lord the glory due to his name, bring an offering and come into his court. So it said, praise the Lord, praise the glory of his name and bring an offering and come into his temple. And his courtyards. Verse 9. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear him before, before him, all the earth. And it's said to worship the Lord. We need to worship him.
because of his beauty, because he's holy. Um, we should uh, we should worship him at all times, all over the, all the earth. He's saying, verse ten, say among the heathen that the Lord reigns. The world also shall establish that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. So this is saying that um, that we should that we should tell the nations that the Lord is He is King, Amen. And the earth is is set. It's not going. It cannot be moved, Amen. And He's going to uh, judge judge us, Amen. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate you. If you haven't repented, you need to do that and let the Lord know you're sorry. Also, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord. God bless you, Amen. We'd like to thank you for paying attention because in a minute we won't be able to afford free speech. Ambassador Ava E. Nichols, Pastor A.V. Nichols of Body of Christ Outreach Ministry, we'd like to thank you for sharing this time with us. If you got any questions or if you need prayer, 702-505-9697. Ava Nichols, the number one at yahoo.com. You can find us on YouTube, Unknown Soldier 8, that's U-N-K-N-O-W-N-S-O-U-L-D-I-E-R, the number 8.